Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ocean State Aquatics TV and today we are going to be talking all about tannins. We're going to be talking about what tannins are and what black water is and the benefits for having those in your freshwater aquarium. So let's check it out. So tannins and humic acids are naturally occurring compounds that are released from natural aquascaping components such as driftwood and catapa leaves or Indian almond leaves that break down to produce that black water look. Black water or tannin enriched water is that water that looks kind of brown, kind of like tea almost. So while this may be unsightly to some aquarium owners, a lot of aquarium owners really like this look and all of the amazing benefits that come with having tannins in your water. Since tannins come with such a variety of different benefits, both health benefits and benefits for your tank, a lot of people will try to actively achieve that look and I will show you exactly how. So there are a few different methods, the first being the most traditional and that is using driftwood. Driftwood is a huge staple in a lot of freshwater aquascaping and is so versatile in the amount of different types and styles and shapes that it comes in. Now if you've ever had a piece of driftwood in your tank before, you are probably familiar with tannins and the driftwood will give them off. As soon as you start adding it into your tank, you'll notice your aquarium water will start to get a little bit more brown and a little bit more tea colored stained. If you buy a piece of driftwood that is pre-soaked, you may get really lucky and not have any of that. And there are also some varieties of driftwood that actually release very little to almost no tannins. So if you really wanna have a piece of driftwood in your tank but you don't want tannins, there is definitely a way to get around that but most people do actually like the tannins that come with the wood. So this is definitely going to be one of the most traditional ways to get tannins in your tank. Now, eventually your driftwood will get exhausted and it will stop releasing tannins over time. So if you want to continue that tannin look in your tank, or if you don't want to have a piece of driftwood in your tank, but you still want that tannin look, there are a few other ways to achieve that. Another way to achieve tannins in your tank is catapa leaves, also known as Indian almond leaves. Catapa leaves are great for your tank, especially if you have invertebrates such as shrimp and crayfish because they actually can snack on this as well. These leaves are great. They release a lot of tannins really quickly, um, but the only downside to them is that they do break down over time and you do have to constantly replace them about every few months or so if you want to keep that tannin look in your tank. And the last way that we have here at OSA to add tannins in your tank is actually this product product by Fritz called Dark Water. This product is essentially just highly concentrated extract from Indian almond leaves that provides all of the essential benefits that come with adding tannins in your water. So it's a great option for people that have smaller tanks that maybe can't fit a big piece of driftwood in your tank, but you still wanna have all those great benefits of tannins. So now we are going to get into some of these amazing health benefits that come with having tannins in your tank or having a black water tank in general. The natural elements such as having driftwood or catapa leaves in your tank as they release tannins and humic acids, they actually slightly lower your pH, which makes your water slightly softer, which is great for a lot of different varieties of different community freshwater fish. Another really cool property about tannins is it actually can help mitigate algae growth. And lastly, and arguably most importantly, it has amazing health benefits. It can keep viruses and bacteria at bay, and it has natural antibacterial and antifungal properties, which can vastly improve the health of your fish and prevent diseases and sicknesses from spreading throughout your whole tank. Of course, this is not a natural fix all band-aid blanket for everything, but it can definitely help keep your tank a lot healthier for a lot longer as opposed to not using it. I do wanna to touch on saying that activated carbon and high capacity filter resins will actually remove tannins from water. So if you have a tank that you really wanna achieve this look and you run activated carbon in it, it might be a good idea to significantly cut back on the time that you run activated carbon or even stop running it in general so you can get that full power of the tannins in your tank. Now, of course, if you add a really big piece of driftwood to your tank and maybe you get too many tannins and your water gets a little bit too dark for your liking, you can always add any activated carbon or filter resins back in your tank to kind of dial back the tannins to your liking. So that's really all there is to it. Like I said, there is a lot of great benefits for having tannins in your tank and having that black water environment. It'll make the fish feel more safe and more secure. They will start to come out more. They can help color them up a lot more, deepen those colors. So there's a lot of different components to having tannins in your tank and a lot of different ways to help you achieve that look. We have such a wide selection of different pieces and sizes of driftwood available at our Seaconk location, as well as many 
boxes of catapa leaves and bottles of Fritz dark water. So if any of these products sound interesting to you, we have such a wide selection up at our Seekonk, Massachusetts location. So you guys should definitely come and check it out. And like always, thank you guys so much for watching.